From the bullets, from the guns, and the triggers that they pull. Hey, Joey Dillon coming at you, answering your questions as it pertains to gunslinging in the movie industry. So, sharing another quick story with you uh, about The Harder They Fall, which uh, obviously is making a lot of headlines now. Um, we started working on that film uh, pre-COVID, then COVID hit, and we got shut down for a few months. Um, I had worked with the, uh, most of the actors and I say most, meaning a few had to be recast after the break because certain um, conflicts uh, schedule-wise happened after the push um, when we came back. One of the people I was very pleased to work with was Wesley Snipes um, before his part was recast. Um, and uh, it was recast with another brilliant choice. Wesley Snipes, it was my first time working with him and having grown up watching him on the big screen in a lot of great movies was an honor. Um, so something unique with him was, uh, um, pick up this gun here and show you that it is not loaded, cold weapon. Anyway, um, he was wearing his gun, uh, here up under the shoulder and, uh, would then have to pull it out to fire. And, um, with Wesley's grip, he, he had, uh, very strong hands and he would just grip the gun with all the fingers now if you grip with everything you're pulling that trigger in and don't talk to me about straight finger until you're on target because that will not work in a western um, in a western nothing's going to happen until you first pull this hammer all the way back on most guns not all there are some antique weapons that are double action we'll go over that later but in a classic remington or a colt single action army single action gun which means that the trigger does one single thing which is to drop the hammer but first you must pull the hammer back so it's a two-part method to make that gun go off okay so in a western you're doing a lot of the gun twirling and things like that or you're pulling the gun out and you're in the trigger guard a lot now i try to train everybody to hug the front of the trigger guard like so that so you're never riding on the trigger you should feel that until you need to be on the trigger for maybe a trick or something like that but as soon as that hammer comes back it's time for trigger control and to keep it back until you're on target and fire the gun so wesley um, was having difficulty uh refraining from moving this trigger finger when he moved everything else so it was a grip it wasn't a grip like this and so what would happen then uh, is you'd pull the gun out and as soon as you let go of the hammer it just falls just about every time and obviously once we put blanks in the gun that'd be no bueno so I w tried to work with him a lot and say, you really got to work on that trigger control to stay off that trigger so that the hammer can stay back until you're on target. Um, he actually uh, had two guns he had to pull, actually. So it was one down low on his hip here, and then the other one was up here. So it would be a two guns coming out. And uh, same thing with both guns, dropping both hammers. That's right. Okay. Moving on. Anyway, uh, it was very difficult to make our schedules come together, um, whether he would call off a, a meeting uh, of working with me for other reasons, personal reasons or whatever, or whether my uh, on uh, set on production schedule would fit with his. But I wasn't getting in the time I needed with him uh, before I was uh, set to depart. Um, and so uh, we're getting down to the wire and I told production, look, I really got to meet with Wesley and really go over that finger trigger control with them. Now I had loaned him some, a fake prop gun to practice with. And so finally I got to meet Wesley, he showed up and he said, I'll be honest with you, I haven't practiced at all. <laughs> I was like, well, okay, all right, well, let's see what you got. And so I, I gave him some cold weapons, uh, two guns on him and I had him walk down this uh, long corridor outside between some buildings and I wanted him to pull the gun and shoot left, right, left, right, and just, just dry fire and boom, and then boom. And uh, he did it flawlessly, absolutely perfectly. Great trigger control, fingers off until they needed to be. Really impressive. So he walked back up to me and I said, man, you're ready to throw some blanks in there and go at it. I don't understand because you didn't practice um, and I haven't been able to get some time with you. so." what happened? And uh, he said, well, 
Last night, I had a dream. And in my dream, I did it. And then I woke up from the dream, and I thought to myself, well, that's how you do it. And I said, well, I can't argue with the results. So, true story, Wesley Snipes, badass dreamer. He paid me a high compliment when he saw my gun artistry, all the tricks and different things I can do with the weaponry that I've been uh, blessed by the good Lord to, uh, to give to the world. He said I was a daywalker, which coming from Blade himself is a supreme compliment. So there you go. Hey, there are many more stories coming. So subscribe to this channel. Hit the notification bell. Show me you want more stories. Uh, ask questions in the uh, comment section as well if you have something you want me to cover. I have a huge list of things I'd like to put out for you guys as I have time between uh, being busy on a show that I'm on right now. Uh, but lots more coming.